A total of 48 Native Anishinaabe soldiers were drafted or volunteered, and four reservation soldiers, or about 8% of those who served, died in action in France. Private William Holden Day was born on the Warrior's Reservation. He served first in the United States military, military and Navy during the Spanish-American War, and then in the North Dakota National Guard with the Mexican, on the Mexican border. Hold in the day, couldn't wait for the United States Congress to declare war, so he joined the Ontario Infantry and served with Canada. He was poisoned in a gas attack and died on June 4, 1919, at a Canadian General Hospital in Montreal. Private Ignatius Visnor was born on the reservation. He entered service in February 25, 1918, and served in the 180th. Infantry Regiment that was attached to the British Expeditionary Forces in France. He was killed in action on October 8, 1918. Charles Beaupre, also from the reservation, entered service in April 1917. And he served in an American tank corps and was killed also on October 8. Private Fred Casabier, son of Joseph Casabier in the reservation, served in the 137th Infantry Regiment, was wounded in action on September 30th, 1918, and died from his wounds. He was buried with more than 14,000 other infantry soldiers in the Moose Argonne American Cemetery. The Hindenburg Line was the greatest challenge for soldiers in the 30th Infantry Division. Private Visnor was surely aware that the casualties were high in this first offensive. Mitchell Yokelson noted in Borrowed Soldiers that Americans and their allies did not realize that the new attack early in October 1918 would mark the beginning of the end of the war. The 30th Infantry Division was ordered on Tuesday, October 8th to attack and secure an area north of Montreal, a critical military position in the 100-day offensive. The artillery bombardments had weakened the enemy, 